I'm Craig Underwood. Uh, I'm a friend of Alan and Vanessa's, and I was working on the campaign as a volunteer. And then about a month ago, they asked me to jump in full time, which uh, I was able to do. Uh, and I've been doing a number of things, but I've been most focused on policy uh, and helping Alan translate his vision and uh, with a lot of advice from a phenomenal network of experts uh, into some major policy papers that I think really show Alan's vision for what he can do as a senator to help not only the citizens of Massachusetts, but people across this country. Uh, I've known Alan for God, at least 10 years. Uh, I was uh, living outside of Massachusetts for a while. I came back. Uh, I wanted to get involved in the nonprofit sector. Uh, and I, I was introduced by a friend of mine that had done a lot of work with him uh, from, from Bain, where my friend ran the consulting work for City Year that Bain did. And I remember when I first met him, he, he used two terms I hadn't heard before, but that were very inspirational to me. Uh, one was he talked about himself being a social entrepreneur and City Year really being an incubator for social entrepreneurs. And the second thing he said is that he created City Year as an action tank that it wasn't just sort of an idea that they had that they want to promote, but they actually wanted to show and prove to people that City Year, that a new social uh, organization, a new non-for-profit could be created and uh, eventually grown around the world. Um, so I, 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 I met Alan a decade ago, and I was lucky enough uh, through his wife Vanessa to be introduced to Gerald Shertavian, who started Year Up, which is a, another nonprofit that's just a wonderful organization. Uh, and when we started Year Up, we had we always talked about someday we'll be as big as City Year. Uh, and Alan was an inspiration to us. Uh, he was a guide to us. He was a friend to us. He's been a mentor to us. Uh, so when Alan called me and said that he was going to run for the Senate, uh, it was, I think, one of the fastest decisions I've ever made in my life. Uh, and it was the first time in a long time that from the very beginning of a campaign, I felt 100% committed to the person that I knew I was going to vote for. There was no question in my mind that Alan was the best candidate, that he'd make a phenomenal senator. Uh, and having now worked very closely with him uh, for very long days, for about 30 days, um, I, in my respect for him and my conviction that he'll be the best senator, uh, possibly, uh, is much stronger than it was even when I, I started working for him as a volunteer. Uh, and I say that because when we do issues, um, Alan wants to always start with the facts. Uh, he wants to get you know all the data we can. He wants to talk to as many experts as we can. He wants to really look for innovative solutions. But he's not just looking for a, a big idea that's going to differentiate him. Almost from a marketing standpoint, he's looking for a big idea that's going to make a difference. Uh, and we're never put anything out that we can't answer two questions Alan has. Uh, three questions. One, how many people is it going to help? Two, what's it going to cost? And three, how are we going to pay for it? So I, I, uh, I knew he was uh, and would be a great senator. Uh, I knew he was very passionate about issues. I had no idea uh, how rigorous his thought process or how vast his network of experts was, uh, but I know that very well now. Um, and to anybody that's, that's watching this, I would just say, um, we need your help. We need your vote, but we need your help. So anything you could do to help us, uh, come in and volunteer, uh, work in a phone bank, uh, knock on doors, put up a yard sign, give us some money. Uh, we don't have that many days left. Uh, I know Alan can win, but we can only win if everybody that we all know comes in and helps us out.